Triss could not help Geralt, yet she did direct him to Kareem Tilly, an Oneromancer and an expert at finding the lost and the missing. Guided by Kareem Tilly, the Witcher had a dream. In it, Ciri and I, the Bard Dandelion, were reunited. Geralt now knew that to find Ciri, he would first need to find his dear old friend. They've burnt another at the stake. It's dreadful. Fancy a fuck. This Baronet's love of Letzvilla. Shouldn't interest you. The Baroness don't mingle with just anyone. Don't worry. I'm here to see your chambermaid, Molly. Out of the way. Baroness is right now. Be gone. Geralt of Rivia at my doorstep? Surely this is no chance encounter? Greetings, Baroness. Greetings, General. You're right. I'm here for a reason. There's no mistaking you. But for etiquette's sake, Mary Louisa Lavalette, an Imperial General and a Witcher meet, and know each other. Surprising. We've met before. And how? Imagine this, Louisa. The Emperor desired to chat with the Witcher. I, too, was fortunate enough to meet him then. Hmm. So Geralt of Rivia now works for Emperor Emir. Interesting. Has Var Emery sent you to rid Novigrad of monsters? Looking for a girl named Molly. Heard she works here. My maidservant. I'm afraid she's currently at the home of my dear friend Patricia Vagelbud. Perhaps Geralt could accompany us. He could speak with Molly at the races. Is that something you'd consider, Witcher? Care to partake of some sophisticated diversion? Well, if Molly will be there... On our way, then. We've arrived. My father owned a similar estate in Bruges. As a young girl, I'd travel there often to ride. Shall we look at the horses? Do you like horses, Geralt? I guess so. Called every horse I've had Roach. The Grey Mare is Cantarella, sired by Cahir, the champion from Vol. Grey's a nice color for horses, too. My coin's on the Black Stallion, Nemrod, purest Nilfgaardian stock. Surprised he didn't salute you, General. Know anything about the Chestnut or the Bay? The Chestnut is Thunderbolt, a pure blood Retainian, gallant steed, but too headstrong for my taste, difficult to control. And the bay hails from Zericania. Lord de Volta acquired him recently. I know little about him, though Zericanians are reputed to have incredible stamina. Is Molly a horse? Pardon? I did come here to see Molly, after all. Patience, Witcher. She ought to arrive soon. I asked Molly to join us as soon as she was done with her chores. She shouldn't be long now. All depends what you asked her to do, my lady. 
But I don't really have a choice. I'll wait. Seem to know your horses. No is not the word. Morvran's a true expert. I find them to be far more honest than men. Must say, I'm curious how you manage in the saddle, Witcher. Mostly just try to stay in it. What would you say to a little race? Not what I came here for. Don't make me beg, Witcher. Tell you what, win, and I shall give you my finest saddle. Made in Nilfgaard proper of beautifully tanned leather. Why not? Wouldn't mind seeing if your knowledge of horses translates into riding skills. Well said. So, which steed do you choose, Witcher? Heard tales of Zeracanian horses. I'll ride the bay. I'll not ride with you, but I shall bet on a steed. Nemrod will win, no matter the rider. Cantarella for me, then. I see no point in delaying this. Let's begin. victory thanks for one for whom every horse is a roach you carry yourself exquisitely in the saddle my congratulations that is yours now could I talk to your chambermaid lady oh yes Molly that is why you came here after all the portly young woman that's her speak to her and you must find us when you're ready to return to Novigrad we'd be delighted to join you for the journey Well, well, another freak. <laughs> I'm Molly, my lord. Wish to see me? Call me Geralt. Geralt? That Geralt? The one Dandelion's rescued time and time again? if not for Dandelion. Told me all about your adventures. How he'd ready you for battle with his songs. How he tamed the Cairn by playing his lute. I meant that literally. Dandelion's why I'm here. Came to ask you about him. Know where he might be? No. Sadly, I haven't got a clue. We've not seen each other in ages. The Baroness don't approve of our acquaintance. Says Dandelion's a good-for-nothing layabout. Can you imagine? But, <laughs> or maybe his sister could help you. Such a nice girl. You do realize Dandelion doesn't have a sister? Sure he does. Saw him himself. Funny, she don't look like him at all. Blonde, for starters. Maybe they've different fathers. Mm-hmm. Different mothers, too. Maybe. But you could see he cares for her. Looks after her. The way he carried her packages and... These packages? Any chance they were trunks? Travel cases? And this girl? Possibly a Truberitz? Yes, yes! Now I remember. She's a travelling performer. Sailed in from Kavir. Talented family, innit? Exceptionally. And very loving as well, I'm sure. 
If you only knew. Dandelion even wrote a poem for her. To my dearest Calinetta. Or some such. Oh, to have a brother like that. Any chance you remember your last conversation with Dandelion? Of course. He came to borrow some coin for a barge. What? Why'd he need a barge? To take me on a romantic cruise of the canals by the light of the moon. Said there'd be strawberries and that wine with the bubbles. And he'd sing me arias. But well, I've not seen him since. Thanks, Molly. Wait. Before you go, I've got a request. Dandelion told me once he'd show me his etchings, but he never did. I'd so like to see him. Won't be too hard to convince him. He loves showing off those etchings to anyone he can. Oh, that's wonderful! Thanks, and good luck to you on your search. Well, well, another freak. Ah, Geralt, there you are. Shall we return together? Gladly. It's a long way to Novigrad. Road ought to seem shorter with some company. I'd say the same. Well then, let's go. And here we are. Thank you for your company. Likewise. See ya. This morning, my Britta came back from the market with news. Some mysterious murders happening in some house. Your Greta's got the imagination of a drunk trooper. Why are you so scared? She never lies about serious matters. Some storekeeper told her the corpses were shreds. <laughs> Or I'll inform the hunters you're a non-human. Another trustworthy source. Everyone in Novigrad wants others to listen to them. Need a gift for my wife. Understood. Does the gentleman have anything specific in mind? Oh, I don't know. Give me whatever's most expensive. Oh, special occasion on its way. Anniversary, perhaps? That's the rub. It already came yesterday, and I forgot. Don't be shy now. Look, it doesn't cost a thing. There's plenty to behold. This here is a collection of wonders that belong to the mage Eremas. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. How do you get a hold of these? Never heard of a mage willingly parting with his treasures? No one asked Eremas his will. He was burned at the stake a fortnight ago. Strange they didn't burn his stuff with him. Witch hunters let you resell it just like that? Why wouldn't they? These are common goods, some valuable only as collectibles, perhaps. All right, I get it. These items aren't actually common. Rumor has it, each is an enchanted key. Rumor happened to mention where to find the locks these keys open? Sadly, no. What if I knew you could hardly expect me to sell them? Where did Aramas live? Had a lovely residence south of Oxenford. Badly damaged now, as he made the hunters pay dearly for his skin. Show me what you have.
Farewell. Statuette of a man wasn't carved or produced using magic. Ought to ask Triss about it. You should not have come to the city. You'd be better off staying in the trees. Why does the temple guard man the gates at all? He wouldn't be hungry when he to find paid work. But he said the temple guard interrogated him, put out his eyes. Yeah, that's what he said. Were he innocent, they would not have interrogated him. And I don't wish to see you talking to Riff Raff anymore. What's the rush? Many a heart, eh, Dandy? Power of the eternal fire be with you. Decent house for decent folk. Don't worry, won't stay long. Yes, Geralt? See, you kept the Rose of Remembrance I gave you in Flotsam. Seems so long ago. Probably because so much has changed. So, sentimental value. That why you kept it? Partly. Though, more as a warning. Been in Novigrad long? Long enough to know how not to get caught, and survive. And before you came here, where were you? Oh, places. Where I managed to get by without your help, too. Which doesn't mean I'm not happy to see you. Look what I picked up. Artifact compression. Someone got themselves enchanted in this figurine. Intend to decompress? Of course. Whoever cast the spell on the poor soul must have forgotten about him. Looks like a nobleman. Could be just that. Come with me. I can't perform the ritual here. Everything's ready. Let's get to work. This is pretty grim. True. It looks like a vampire's hideout. Which is why we can be pretty sure no one will bother us here. Give me the figurine and stand back. Let's try it. Think it's a nobleman. Be on your guard. 
It could be something far more dangerous. In Alan Dwana Ar Ice. No, Taro, no! I, I can explain everything! <coughs> Coral? I never looked at the last. You are my one and only. Oh, oh, you're not Coral. Some succubus. A, a delusion. Where, where, where am I? So Coral enchanted him, just like her. If there's a more vindictive sorceress, I don't know her. Well, except maybe... Coral's not here? In that case, come to me, Succubus. What is your name? Hmm? We're in Novigrad. Novigrad. In Novigrad? Last I recall, I was in Oxenfurt, and Coral was furious. How can she demand fidelity when she herself is wanton as... as... As youthful goats. Exactly. Damn it! I feel as if I've been trampled by a herd of cattle. I've no notion what she did to me, but it seems... You've delivered me from my misfortune. Here, take this. Have a good time. Paint the town coral. Whose taste has grown worse since you were sleeping with her. Come on, the kind-hearted gentleman will get along fine on his own. I wonder what this means. Looks like a drop of some sort.
enough of doing side rigs. <laughs> Oh, I've had enough of living. Although he is, those cards My dad doesn't like us very much. Well, how long are you gonna make me? Change is going to be unsuccessful. Zoltan, 
venture to say a mage would have trouble turning that owl into a parrot. Sure you know me that well? Mark my words, she'll be playing Gwent with us in no time. But we were to talk about dandelion. So, how'd you do? Learn much? Tell me what you've got first. A few bruises and a torn doublet. Otherwise, not much a note. He wasn't staying with any of them. I've not seen hiding or hair of them in ages. All I learned was a few of Dandelion's pick-up lines. Dubious worth. Let's hear him. I'm all ears. I uh, know how he wooed a last study in natural history. Asked her about the habits of trolls. <laughs> you know where he went with the cook from the Passiflora? The Oxenford Novigrad Road, which has just now been repaired. Made us stay for hours as laborers crushed boulders into cobblestones. Tried to pass it off as a romantic outing. I don't know about human woman, but that would bore a dwarf and last to tears. He's growing old, that poet of ours. Maybe. Or maybe he did all that for a reason. Sounds like you found something out. Women on my list hadn't seen Dandelion in a while. All claimed he had been acting strange. Also mentioned he'd been seeing someone else. Thing is, Mystery Woman wasn't on my list. What's she supposedly like, this lass? Blonde, from Kovir. A Troberitz, apparently, named Kalanetta or something like that. Uh, that makes it clear as crystal. It's Priscilla. Aye. Must be out. Why wasn't she on the list? Mm, this Priscilla wasn't like the others. I think Dandelion more than fancied her. I think it was fair for her. He lusts after every other woman he meets. How can I explain? But who does Dandelion love most? Himself. Exactly. And she's his mirror image. What can I say? Could be he finally met his match. She's his match, all right. Maybe more. Laddie's head's on fire. Lassie's got him whirling. All right. Guess we gotta talk to her. Priscilla works for the Mummers Troop. Reynard and the Foxen. Never there in town, she performs nightly at the Kingfisher. Mean we've been sentenced to an evening of poetry? Must you always? This'll be true poetry, Geralt. You'll see. Grand Cabinet. 
Hey there. Huh? Watch it! Pass it. Piss off! None of your kind will get in here on my the watch. Thinking, Custom, you've seen right away up on the peasant. This side of the pond. Greetings. Are you here for a specific reason? Got a meeting with Rosa. A fencing lesson. Geralt of Rivia, yes? Miss Rosa stepped out for a walk. Near Temple Bridge, she said. She asked that you join her. Guess it's gonna be an interesting lesson. Thanks. Come on, Roach. Yeah, over here. Guardian Regiment always accompany you on your walks? Always. Papa's orders. It's for your protection, Rosa dear. People here hate us. Why? What have I done to them? But enough about that. Soldier, you may leave. But His Excellency Ambassador Baratra said that... And this Excellency is telling you otherwise. Do you not recognize him? This is Geralt of Rivia, the best swordsman the North has ever seen. I'm safe with him. Now march off, quickly. Left, right, left, right. Finally. Let's go, Geralt. I have something I wish to show you. We were supposed to train, not go for a walk. I know, Geralt. Now stop harping on about it and let's go. I thought that instead of training in a dank old cellar, we'd move around in the open air. A duel on a bridge, like in the novels. Now draw your sword. Only got my steel and silver swords. We should be fighting with practice weapons. We should, but you of all people ought to know. There's much more fun in doing things you shouldn't. If that's what the lady wishes. Just don't want to see anyone crying later. I've a hanky for you, just in case. On guard! Ow! Ow! Stop! I yield! 
You all right? Yes. The only thing you've really hurt is my pride. By the way, how'd you get interested in fencing? I was bored. I've no friends here. Papa keeps me on a short lead. It's banquet after banquet after banquet. I detest banquets. <laughs> Boring conversations, terrible food, and weak booze. Exactly. At least with a sword in hand, I can have some fun. You know, blow off steam. All right, what's next? We should return. Just forgive me, Geralt. I know this might sound awkward, but would you mind turning around for a moment? My corset's shifted. It's pinching me terribly. I can understand a woman wanting to look pretty, but fighting in a corset? It slows you. Rosa? Shit, she ran off. Anything happens to her, Varatra will kill me. Need to find her. Can't be far. Seven cats is this way. Great. Girl just wants to have fun. For a moment, aren't you, sweetie? And there's no telling if you'll ever get back. She's Ambassador Varatra's daughter. She's got diplomatic immunity. I don't really understand the shot you're saying. Now it's clear you love your black ones. It's no surprise, Lucas. Witches are drawn to monsters just the way things are. But this beastie. We'll send the world ourselves. I believe you've offended the young lady. Now apologize as nicely as you can. For forgive me, milady. I I am sorry. Your turn. Be nice like your friend. Bow low and go be a patriot somewhere else. Lucas and Kobe. I shall remember those names. And when the Emperor takes Novigrad, I will find them and have them pay. Easy. Didn't hurt you in the end. They raised their hand against me. That's enough to have that hand lopped off. Lesson's over. Remember what you've learned today. Looks like you'll be using that sword often. It's beyond me, Geralt. I don't understand you. Why concern yourself with the fate of two drunkards? The world would be a better place without... You should go home now, and take the shortest, not the scenic route. I understand. Farewell, Geralt, and good luck on the path. Need a witcher? Any bloke willing to kill a monster, a witch it would do. Monster? What kind? Big, bad, ugly, squatching the sewers. If you're interested, drop by the Garen estate. Ask for Olgierd von Everek. He's the one ordered this posted.
welcome to the Seven Cats, the luckiest tavern in town. They even say the hangovers are wine begets the lucky. What's on the menu today? So long. Hey. <laughs>